It's beginning to look a lot like Vlogmas Everywhere you go And it makes me so happy You're spending your holiday with me Happy Vlogmas Once more Hi you guys, it's Beth here. Welcome to my channel. And if you like what you see, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoy this video. So today I'm doing a Bath & Body Works collection video. Um, but also before I begin, if you celebrate Christmas, I would like to wish you a happy Christmas Eve. Um, or I know that some people celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So if that's you, Merry Christmas. Um, if you celebrate Hanukkah, I know Hanukkah began a few days ago. Um, but happy Hanukkah, like a little bit late. Um, happy Kwanzaa, if that's what you celebrate. I'm not sure what day that is either. Um, um, and if you don't celebrate any of those, then that's okay too. And I just wish you a happy Tuesday. Um, so today I'm showing you guys my Bath and Body Works collection um, in an effort to get you guys super pumped up for the semi-annual sale which begins on December 26th. Whoop, whoop, so excited. Um, I'm gonna be going there after work. I get off work that day. I work from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. And then I will be going to my Bath and Body Works, my Target, my Kohl's, my TJ Maxx to do after Christmas clearance shopping and um, semi-annual sale shopping. Uh, because on Friday, I'll be going away with my mom. So I have to get it all done in one day and it's going to be stressful you guys and then the next day I have work at 7 a.m. and also on that Thursday night I have a friend and her husband are coming to help me put up shelves so that's so exciting because the shelves are to display my Bath and Body Works collection so how exciting is that I'm super pumped about it um anyways so um, before getting into the collection, I did want to talk to you guys about my 2020 no buy year that I'm doing. And I, I mean, not no buy, sorry. If I said that, I didn't mean to. It's just a low buy. <laughs> um, I cannot commit to do a no buy yet because I don't have any experience with like restraining myself that much from shopping. Um, but anyway, so I did write myself some rules, guidelines, so to say, and that way then, like, once you have it written down, um, like, it just makes it more likely that you'll be successful. I'm pretty sure that that's true. There's scientific evidence about it. If you look it up, I'm pretty sure. Um, but anyways, let me go ahead and show you guys. So... The maximum amount of money I'm allowing myself to spend is $150 for the entire year of 2020. This includes the winter SAS starting on December 26, 2019, summer SAS, and Candle Day, which is the first Saturday of the year. All of those three major events are part of this low buy, and I have to stay within that $150, whether it be those days or like the days where like cars and portables go on sale for $195 or candles go on sale for $12.95. Um, like I have to stay within the 150 range for the entire 365 days from December 26th to December 25th. So I need to do it. Um, okay, next up, um, my rules for myself. So in order to ensure that I stay in this $150 like frame, I am not allowing myself to buy any duplicates or have any duplicates of items until the first one is done. And I think that's a really good, you know, idea because even if it's a scent you really, really like, like I don't want to wear it out. Like I don't want to wear Endless Weekend every single day for a year. Otherwise, I'm going to start not enjoying it. And same with Champagne Toast, same with Tahiti Island Dream, same with all my favorite scents. You know, if I do that, I'm going to not like it as much anymore because uh, I'm going to get tired of it. Also, uh, no buying a scent you just finished unless it is a favorite and you can see yourself definitely using it within one year. Um, I don't want any more of my products to go bad on me. And so I am going to make myself really, really think before purchasing stuff 
Um, if it's something I just finished up, I will think like, hey, did I love this enough that I'm so excited to use it again and I can't wait? Or did I like it, but I'm like, oh, I want to try new stuff. Then obviously just buy the new stuff. Don't buy the one you just finished. Um, and then in an effort to keep my apartment tidy, there is a limit on the amount of body care I want to own at all times. So when I moved to my first apartment, I thought everything was going to be so much better. Um, when I was living at home, like Bath and Body Works was taking up my sister and I's entire bedroom. Um, which some people might think that sounds super amazing and it was at first and then I had to like keep organizing keep cleaning all the time and I've really learned the value in just like having a minimal amount of things and that's been through like decluttering through watching YouTube videos through reading um, things like that and just however it brings a lot less chaos into your life when you have less things more clean surfaces like once I take down my Christmas tree from off my bookshelf I think I'm just gonna leave my whole top of my bookshelf completely empty and it's gonna be so nice I think um, because it's just gonna feel like it's a clean space you know um, anyway so the limit on the amount of body care I can own at all times I would like to own no more than 12 shower gels or body washes at all times no more than 24 body creams or lotions at all times no more than 12 hand soaps, 10 wallflower plugs, 4 fine fragrance mists, car, uh, 6 car scent portables, 24 candles of any brand, not just Bath & Body Works, which if you missed my winter candle collection video, you can definitely go check that out. It was part of my Vlogmas, um, so it will be linked in the description down below and then 12 pocket bags. And I feel like that is a good amount because it's the amount that I can see myself definitely using up within one year. I typically, typically, not every month, but I typically go through like about like almost one shower gel a month, um, two body creams a month, um, one hand soap a month almost, like one, like a third, a uh, I cannot talk three-fourths of a wallflower in a month um, I typically go through less than one fine fragrance mist in a month and then car scent portables I change out every season but by the time it gets to the third month of the season I can kind of start to feel it like dwindling down a little bit that you can't smell it anymore um, 24 candles I just feel like that's two candles per month and that should be enough for any normal sane person that's not obsessed with candles so hopefully I can shrink my collection down to all these numbers and then 12 pocket bags because that's just one a month so it just makes sense in my brain anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get into the collection Okay, you guys, we're going to start out first with the lotions, the creams, and then at the same time, we are going to get rid of any duplicate scents. Um, those will be scents that I will give as gifts for, like, birthdays throughout the year of 2020 um, and things like that. So let's start down here with the lotions, and if you remember, I'm supposed to have only 25, uh, sorry, 24 body creams and lotions. Right now I have, I think, 29. Um, so here are two Endless Weekend lotions. That's Endless Weekend, and I have two of them, but now I only have one. We have one Sweater Weather. One of the Spice Gingerbread Swirl. We have Santa's Blueberry Shortbread. We have Frosted Coconut Snowball, Twisted Peppermint, Vanilla Bean Noel, and two of the Champagne Apple and Honey. So one of these has got to go. Okay, moving on. I do have one of the Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte. I have a One in a Million Rose. Warm Vanilla Sugar, Kaleidoscope, and Lovely Dreamer. Moving on, I do have an Endless Weekend in the Body Cream. That does not count as a duplicate since one's a lotion, one's a body cream. I have Happy Vibes. 
and Waikiki Beach Coconut. Moving on, I have Papaya Paradise Cove, Cashmere Glow, Capri Coastal Citrus, Mango Mandarin, French Lavender and Honey, Butterfly Flower, Love and Sunshine, and three Champagne Toasts. Two of them have got to go. Okay, next off, I do have quite a few shower gels. If you can't remember, I'm trying to only have um, 12 shower gels in my collection. Right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, so the first one I have is Mango Mandarin, Honolulu Sun, French Lavender and Honey, Pink Velvet Cupcake, Toasted Praline and Pear, Sugar Cranberry Cider, which is almost done. Two of the Champagne Toasts. Now I'm getting rid of one. Two of the Tahiti Island Dream. Getting rid of one. And two of the Endless Weekends. Getting rid of one. I think this is the one without the plastic seal. And then I have Waikiki Beach Coconut, Pink Chiffon, Magic in the Air, Sweet Almond and Honey, White Jasmine, Twilight Woods, and Gingham. Okay, next up we do have Fine Fragrance Mists, and all of these are no duplicates. We have Champagne Toast, Black Cherry Merlot, Lovely Dreamer, Happy Vibes, Endless Weekend, French Lavender and Honey, Champagne Apple and Honey, and Mango Mandarin. Okay, next up we have all the little things. So first off we have Hand Creams, Snowflakes and Cashmere, Spiced Gingerbread, and I know there's one more right here, Winter Candy Apple, Wallflowers, we have Pumpkin Apple, we have Welcome Home, we have Cider Lane, and Hot Cocoa and Cream. And then Car Scent Portables, we have um, Endless Weekend, Beautiful Day, and Pumpkin Apple. And then pocket backs, we have marshmallow pumpkin latte, pumpkin cupcake, champagne apple and honey, fall breeze, boardwalk vanilla cone, pumpkin apple, sweater weather, aromatherapy focus eucalyptus and tea, Sparkling Lemoncello, Peach Bellini, Black Cherry Merlot, another Black Cherry Merlot, another Black Cherry Merlot, and an almost finished Black Cherry Merlot, Mango Mai Tai, Endless Weekend, another Endless Weekend, Ocean Citrus, Sunshine and Lemons, Tiki Shore, and I'm a Unicorn, so very sweet. So the only ones I need to get rid of in this one are two Black Cherry Merlots and one Endless Weekend. All the rest are no duplicates. Okay, and then finally we have soaps, which I do keep underneath of our sink. The first one is Winter Citrus Wreath. Champagne Toast, Fresh Sparkling Snow, which my roommate also has this one, and I don't really enjoy it that much, so I think I'm going to be gifting this one. Honolulu Sun, Sunshine and Lemons, Midnight Blue Citrus, we have... Black Cherry Merlot, Raspberry Tangerine, 
Island Papaya, Strawberry Tart, let's see what else, Pumpkin Apple, Apples and Brown Sugar, Frosted Cranberry, Toasted Vanilla Chai, and there's another black cherry Merlot back there. There we go. Black cherry Merlot and the creamy Lux. Okay, that is my collection. I just wanted to tell y'all thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And also, I will see you guys tomorrow for my video on how I prep for after Christmas clearance shopping, which I'm filming this morning before I go to my parents' house for the holidays. So, yay. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. And as always, make sure that you stay positive till then. Bye.